The 2016 season didn't go quite the way Tennessee and its fans had hoped, but the Vols still had a chance to cap off the year with one last win, scoring off against number 24 Nebraska in Nashville tonight in the Music City Bowl. The Vols legend Peyton Manning on hand for this one. Last time the Vols were in Nashville, they fell to Vanderbilt 45 to 34 to close out the regular season. So looking for some redemption. Vols striking first. John Kelly taking the handoff around the left side, down the sideline, and in for the 28-yard touchdown. Tennessee up seven to nothing. A few minutes later, Joshua Dobbs tucks it, going up the middle and reaching. Over the goal line for the 10-yard QB keeper, Vols take a 14-0 lead. Nebraska answers late in the first. Riker Fife going deep downfield for Brandon Riley, making the diving grab in the end zone. Tennessee heads into the break, though, up 21-7. Fourth quarter, falls up 24-14. Dobbs again under, under duress, keeping it himself and getting into the end zone from three yards out. Tennessee up 31-14 and putting this one away midway through the fourth. Dobbs going deep for Josh Malone, making the grab and nothing but daylight ahead. 59-yard touchdown. Tennessee up 38-24. And the cherry on top, Derek Barnett recording the 33rd sack of his career, passing Reggie White for the all-time sack record. Vols win the Music City Bowl 38-24. Kenny Hawkins was in Nashville tonight and has the story. Thanks a lot, Kane. The Tennessee Volunteers talked about having a sour taste in their mouth after that loss to Vanderbilt in the last regular season game of the season. Well, that sour taste is now sweet after a 38-24 victory over Nebraska. We had a great month of preparation. I thought our bowl preparation was outstanding. We didn't have one poor practice. These players came every single day. We asked a lot out of them, and uh, they delivered that. Tennessee fans saw the final performance for Josh Dobbs and Derek Barnett. Dobbs came away with the MVP, and Barnett, who's likely headed to the NFL, passed Reggie White as the all-time sacks leader at Tennessee. Very special. Um, my family and friends were here, but it was even more special to get with my teammates. And um, we put a lot of work in, and a lot of people don't see all the work we put in. A lot of outsiders don't see that. And it, is, it gets tough sometimes, and uh, but it's, it's very rewarding to finish um, to finish with a, with a win and be champions in the Music City Bowl. Heck of a ride, you know, as you said, I've had uh, my share of adversity and I've had my share of success during my time at Tennessee. You know, I'm honored for both because, you know, both um, I know really are going to help me throughout the rest of my life, um, whether it's, you know, in the NFL, whether it's off the field and whatever I do. This win over Nebraska was the third straight bowl victory for Tennessee. It was also the final game for a number of seniors, including Malik Foreman, who helped turn this Tennessee program around during his four years. It's been a fun ride, man. Great to put on for the 4-2-3 at Tennessee, and we'll see what happens in the future. I was really proud of these players because I thought they, they showed the entire country the passion and the energy and the pride of what it is to play at the University of Tennessee. So for the second year in a row, the Tennessee Volunteers finished with nine victories. Also, they have now won 15 of their last 19 games under head coach Butch Jones. Reporting from Nissan Stadium in Nashville, Kenny Hawkins for News Channel 11 Sports.